What a weekend. I was so extremely lucky to be invited to the Taylor Swift concert by the Arlington, Texas Convention and Visitors Bureau. They put together a 24-hour VIP fam experience for us, and it was so well thought out. I mean, just look at this invitation with all the details of the trip embedded within Taylor Swift's lyrics. My husband came with me mainly as my emotional support human because I have a terrible fear of flying, and I'm basically an entire wreck for like a whole week leading up to a flight. But I somehow managed, and we had a smooth flight from San Diego and finally landed in Dallas-Fort Worth. This is actually my first time in Texas. I was able to bring a guest with me to the concert, so of course I had to invite my cousin Nicole, who is a longtime diehard Taylor Swift fan. Nicole flew in from Florida, so we had a happy reunion at the airport. A driver picked us up from the airport and took us to Live by Lowe's Arlington Hotel, a luxury hotel that's walking distance to AT&T Stadium. We all met in the lobby of the hotel to get to our first stop. Had no idea we would be taking a limo there. What? First stop for Kahuna's Tiki Lounge. Such a fun ambiance, and of course we all got laid upon arrival. Look at this beautiful charcuterie spread and these drinks yum lunch was catered by the toledo family who own inspirations fork and table and after a long anxious morning of flying in an airplane their delicious food hit just the spot for me after that we had some downtime back at the hotel to get ready for the concert when we got to our room they had gorgeous welcome bags waiting for us look at all this awesome stuff a portable phone charger clear purse for the venue red lipstick and red sunglasses because duh and so many other fun goodies nicole and i spent way too much time freaking out about the welcome bag that we lost track of time and realized we had like eight minutes left to get ready for the concert. We got a quick TikTok in though. Since Reputation is my favorite Taylor Swift album, I dressed for her Reputation era. Look at these amazing friendship bracelets that Nicole made for us. After quickly getting ready, it was time for the pregame, which was at Hearsay Arlington, a beautiful speakeasy lounge. The old fashioned 1920 style booths made me feel so fancy. The drinks were perfectly made and the live music was jazzy versions of Taylor Swift songs. Mm-hmm. I was feeling good. It was finally time for the concert. Whoo, it was packed. Everyone had such amazing outfits. And I love how there were people of all ages there. Little kids, teenagers, elder millennials like myself and grandmas. It was so exciting to be at the AT&T Stadium. Me and Nicole's grandmother who passed back in 2018 was a diehard Cowboys fan. So seeing all the Cowboys stuff had us reminiscing about her. She would have loved that we were at the Cowboys Stadium together. Somehow through this massive crowd, we finally arrived at our VIP suite, complete with buffet, drinks, and our own private restroom. The seats filled up quickly, and finally the countdown was on for the show to begin. Taylor started right on time, not a second late. Sadly, I can't show clips from the concert because of YouTube's copyright issues, but let's just say the whole production was perfection from start to finish. I was blown away every second of this three and a half hour show. It was this massive theatrical performance and Taylor took us through every era, hence why her tour is called the Eras Tour, and it truly felt like we all went on this journey together. She played the piano, she played the guitar, she was shaking her hips, doing her chair dance. I mean, every hair flip, wink, runway walk, sly smile, was perfectly executed. She was truly born to be a performer. She hardly took any breaks. She would leave the stage for maybe like two or three minutes at most, and then she would return with like a total costume and boots change. I could not believe she performed for over three hours and still looked and sounded amazing by the end. And to repeat this all over the next day and the next, amazing. What an experience. It was about midnight by the time we got back to our hotel room. We had brunch the next morning at Cut and Bourbon, a steakhouse located inside the hotel. Of course, we spent the entire brunch discussing the amazingness of the show. Then it was time to head home. This past weekend was an experience I will never forget. Thank you so much to everyone at the Arlington Convention and Visitors Bureau for inviting me and putting together such a flawless, amazing experience for all of us. Arlington was so welcoming and kind to us. Thank you for making my visit to Arlington so positive and memorable.